Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. There are 25 horses. What is the minimum number of races needed so you can identify the fastest three horses? You can race up to five horses at a time, but you do not have a watch. This problem is sometimes asked as a technical interview question at companies like Google. But since it is a little bit vague, let me present another version which has some details that allow you to solve the problem. There are 25 mechanical horses and a single racetrack. Each horse completes the track in a pre-programmed time, and the horses all have different finishing times, unknown to you. You can race up to five horses at a time. After a race is over, you get a printout with the order the horses finished, but not the finishing times of the horses. What is the minimum number of races you need to identify the fastest three of all the horses? I was suggested this problem by email from the puzzle maker Terry Stickles, and it is sometimes asked as an interview question at companies like Google. So can you figure it out? Pause the video right now and give it a try. When you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. The answer is you can find the three fastest horses in a minimum of seven races. I will first describe the procedure in words and then I will go over the solution in detail so that you understand why it works. The first step is to divide the 25 horses into groups of five and race the horses in each group. This will be a set of five races. Next, take the winner from each group and race those five horses. The winner of this race, which is the winner of the winners, is the fastest horse overall. Now in order to get the second and third fastest horses, we're going to have to do one more race. But to describe that race, I'm going to have to present some notation. So label the five groups from step one as A, B, C, D, and E to correspond to the groups for the horses that finished in first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place for the race in step two. In other words, label the groups in step one according to the results of the winner's race in step two. Furthermore, write a subscript to identify the order that the horse finished within a group. So A2 means the horse that finished second place in group A. So here's that final race. We do one more race with A2, A3, B1, B2, and C1. That is, race the second and third fastest horses from group A, the fastest and second ho fastest horses from group B, and the fastest horse from group C. The top two finishers in this race will be the second and third fastest horses overall. So now I'm going to show you this procedure in detail and explain why it is the correct procedure. So we start up by dividing the 25 horses into groups of five. In this race, we have a race of five horses, and I'm going to illustrate it so that the slowest horse is on the left and the fastest horse is on the right. I'll rearrange the horses if necessary so that it follows that the slowest horse is on the left and the fastest horse is on the right. I'll do this for all the horses in all of the different groups. Now, we are going to take the winner from each group and race those five horses. This will be the horse on the far right hand side of each group. The winner of this race, which will be the winner of the winners, will then be the fastest horse overall. I am again going to draw this so that the slowest of the winners is on the bottom and the fastest of the winners is on the top. We'll rearrange the groups as necessary to make this diagram work. So now we have the fastest of the winners. This will be the fastest horse overall. We know that it's beat every other horse within its group 
and it's beat the fastest horse in every other group. So we have identified the fastest horse overall. Now in order to get to the second and third fastest horses, we'll have to identify the different groups. So we have the fastest group being A and the slowest group being E. So how are we going to get the second and third fastest overall? We're going to do this by process of elimination. We can eliminate any horse that is slower than at least three other horses. If a horse is slower than at least three other horses, there's no way it could be the second or third fastest overall. So to start out with, we can eliminate all the horses in group E. Every single horse in this group will be slower than the fastest horses in groups A, B, and C. This is because the fastest horse was slower than the fastest horses in these groups A, B, and C. So all of the horses in groups in group E cannot possibly be the second or third fastest overall. For exactly the same reason, we can eliminate all horses in group D. All of them are slower than A1, B1, and C1. We can continue this logic and we can eliminate all the horses in group C except for the fastest horse. All of these other horses will be slower than A1, B1, and C1. Now in group B, we can eliminate all the horses except for the two fastest horses, B1 and B2. All of them will again be slower than A1, B1, and then B2. So the horses in third, fourth, and fifth place in group B can be eliminated. From group A, we can eliminate the fifth and fourth fastest horses because they will be slower than the top three horses within their own group. We're left with six horses. We can only race five at a time, but we can actually get rid of one of these horses. We've already identified the fastest horse overall, A1, so we don't need to race it anymore. We already know it's the fastest overall. We can't learn any more information by racing it. So we can actually remove this horse from our race. So we now have A2, A3, B1, B2, and C1. And we do not know the relative speeds of these different horses. So we can do one more race with these five horses. The winner of this race will be the second fastest horse overall, and the runner-up will then be the third fastest overall. So these will be seven races which will allow us to identify the three fastest horses. Now just a quick note, we've shown that seven races is sufficient, I just want to explain why it's minimal. We obviously have to race each of the 25 horses once, and since we can race five horses at a time, that means we're going to at least start out with 25 over 5, which is five races. We're then going to need to compare the winners, which will be one more race, and we're then going to have to compare at least the second place from group A to the fastest horse in group B, amongst other possible comparisons, in order to find out the second fastest horse. So we know at least seven races will be needed, and we've shown seven races is sufficient. Therefore, the described procedure is optimal. Did you figure this out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.